I'm Don West for the Ozarks Previews. We are here today at the Marucci Clubhouse Midwest for the photo shoot of the 2022 Ozarks Baseball Preview. And we're joined now by Cooper Hampton from Willard High School and his coach, Scott McGee. And Cooper, let me get uh, your thoughts first when Coach told you that uh, you were part of the Magnificent 11s this year. Uh, it was a pretty cool thing. Neither of my brothers got to ever do it, so it's kind of something I can hold over their head now. <laughs> and another thing you can hold over their head is a state championship last year uh, right outside these doors at uh, U.S. Baseball Park. That must have been uh, an incredible experience for you and Willard. Yes, it was an awesome experience being the first males team to or first males team to ever make the state championship and then even bring home the win. It was very cool experience. You had a tremendous game in the championship, too. What all did you uh, get done in that game? I had three hits for four at-bats, and then I was the game tying run to uh, in the last inning to eventually go on and win it. Yeah, and just a, a dramatic finish. Uh, must have been pretty incredible to be able to run out there and with your team and not, not storm the field, as it were, but, uh, but celebrate a state title. Yeah, the, the dog pile was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, tell me about uh, what Willard can do this year and have a chance to get back. Uh, last year we had a lot of like singles and walks, walk type hitters, where this year we've added a lot more power. We've, uh, we, have a lot of, we have a bigger chance now to hit more home runs and doubles. So I think that's going to be our game, more of our game style this year. And who's going to be uh, leading the way with that besides yourself? Uh, Cade Billier and Clayton Kaiser will be our main offensive players. And then I think Kaiden will have a great chance of having another uh, way better offensive year than last year. He's really put in a lot of improvement. Who's your uh, favorite team to play against and uh, Willard's top rivals? Uh, I think our top rival is definitely Nick's. Uh, that game got pretty heated last year, and it was a lot of fun. But I, I think that that will be the – that's like the game of the year almost in the COC for us. And Coach always uh, schedules you some big-time non-conference opponents too. Who are you looking forward to out of the league? Uh, Staley, and Hick Staley, Hickman, uh, CBC, those are all really good matchups. It will be fun. Stern to Coach Scott McGee and uh, Cooper was part of this – State title run for Willard that was uh, so historic last year, and uh, it was great for uh, me to be a small part of it too on your broadcast. But uh, Willard had some big time celebrating to do last year. Yeah, it was just a phenomenal year. You know, so many so many people put in such hard work, and uh, you know, over the last well, thirty years of baseball in our town, and uh, to to get it culminating in a state title, kind of in a year that wasn't be expected. You know, yeah. uh, was was really really cool, and just a testament to all of our current players and former players and coaches and just everything. Cooper was already uh, pretty solid last year. Has he uh, Im improved the game even more? Yeah, his uh, his bat speed, you know, really picked up in, in mid-May last year, and that's just continued. Uh, I think he's going to hit double-digit uh, extra base hits this year, uh, you know, and, and have a big role. He's also a, a very underrated defender at first base, uh, you know, and so he's he's continued to improve there. But uh, we, we really think he's going to be one of the leaders in the area in RBIs. Last year uh, hit 388. Eight and uh, no, no uh, home runs, but uh, expect the power to turn up a little bit. I do. You know, he, he I think he only had two extra base hits until about May first, and he had six that month. You know, so he had eight doubles last year. I, I can see him having another eight to ten double season and three to five home runs, and uh, you know, and then just driving in a ton of runs. Cooper's just kind of the ultimate offensive player because he draws walks, he gets hit by pitch, he can use all fields, and and I think he's starting to grow into his power now, too. You're going to be in the middle of that Willard lineup again this year? I think he'll hit third. You know, Clayton Kaiser will hit in front of him and Cade Billier behind, and that's three, you know, three pretty good hitters to the lineup right in a row. Indeed, pretty impressive. And Cooper Hampton, uh, part of our magnificent 11s. Cooper, have you worked on your defensive game? Is that something you do uh, daily at this time of year? At this time of the year, not really. Once we get going, we do a lot of defensive reps, so it's not really that big of a focus right now. The focus right now is more of hitting. But once we get going, I will. We will work on a defensive defensive skills quite a bit. What has uh, this guy done for your game, Coach McGee, and uh, how has he improved it? Everybody sees Willard from our success, but it really comes in from our coaching and all the effort they put in outside of what you see. Um, I've been homebound for a while now for school. I had a surgery, and they have been putting in a lot of outside effort from practice just with me trying to get me to the school I will be at for the first game. Are you going to be up to speed, and, and what are you recovering from? I had a I had a cyst removed, and I think I'll be perfectly fine by the time we get going. Any future plans involving baseball? 
I hope to go play college somewhere. Somewhere highly academic would be my number one choice. What makes you a good acad- academic student? That's really number one. Uh, was it easy for you? Uh, it's been easier than most people, but I also work very hard in the academic field. I have a 4.1 GPA and hopefully a good ACT score eventually. I bet it. I bet that's coming. <laughs> Willard High School looks for a tremendous season this year after winning a state championship right outside these doors at the U.S. Baseball Park last June. I'm Don West, and thanks for joining us for the Ozarks Baseball Previews.